Hey guys, it's Vaughn. Welcome back to my kitchen. I am back with another grocery haul. I'm super excited because these grocery haul videos have gotten me, you guys. I have been bitten by the grocery haul bug. I have the fever. I am obsessed with these videos. I can't stop watching them and I can't stop recording them. This is my third grocery haul video. So this is kind of like a junk food run haul, so it's a little bit different from the other ones that I've shown you guys so far. And I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to you know, show you guys different types of hauls and not just like the same stuff over and over. So this is all from Target. I went because I needed to get some household stuff, but I also wanted to get some, some kind of like guilty pleasure items. So like some snacks and some things that we just enjoy. So we weren't necessarily out of food. I just wanted to go and pick up some things that we love. Um, and sometimes I'll go to the grocery store for that purpose. It won't have anything to do with necessity. It'll just be like, oh, you know, let's get some D new delicious snacks so that's kind of what I did today and I'm also excited because I did not forget to bring my own bags this time so I brought my own recyclable bags which is actually a really big deal for me not only just to save the 10 cents that they're gonna charge for tax on the bag it's beyond that for me I love carrying the cloth bags just because it's more convenient and more comfortable like the, you know you're able to put the bag on your shoulder versus your typical grocery bag where you're just carrying it in your hand. So even with bringing my own bags, I still didn't have enough because I ended up buying way more than I had anticipated. Grocery bill today, not too bad, about $150. But again, it's household stuff included. Um, and I also got some alcohol this time. So let's see what I got. Let's start with, I guess this bag. In this first bag, I just got a bag of baby spinach. I'm actually gonna use this for something that I'm cooking tonight. I'm making pizza, so I'm gonna use this finished tonight. This bag of Cape Cod original flavored kettle cooked potato chips. I love these, you guys, they're so good. I also got um, another little thing of blueberries. I feel like I'm always picking up blueberries in these hauls. So next in this bag is just a bundle of Granny Smith apples. We go through green apples like toilet paper. And then I just got this big, um, is this 24? Yeah, 24 rolls of the up and up tissue. So let's look at this first bag here that I brought to the store with me. This is just an Eddie Bauer bag I got from the Eddie Bauer store. But it's perfect for grocery toting. So I just got this Scotch Bright um, tri pack. And then I just picked up some Febreze One. I had just been wanting to give this a try because it is a fabric and air mist that contains no aerosols, no dyes, and no heavy perfumes. This is the bamboo fragrance. I got this because you know, with us having Anne, I don't want to be spraying heavy aerosols all around the house and I don't want it to like bother her. So I wanted to give this one a try. Next, I got a lettuce salad mix. It's just an iceberg garden. This is not for me. Picked up some more of my almond milk creamer. This is in the hazelnut flavor. I also picked up some vegetable oil because Anthony likes to fry um, some of his meats and things in vegetable oil. I don't typically use this. I use pretty much olive oil because I don't really deep fry anything. Usually I just need like a little drizzle in the pan and I'm good to go. So this kind of stuff is more so for him. And then I got for Anne's nanny this French vanilla creamer for her coffee. That one is dairy. Mine obviously is non-dairy. And I got these Trisco's, um strawberries that I always pick up, you guys. I think you see those in all of my hauls. And then I got this Trident three pack of um, cinnamon flavor chewing gum. Next in this bag, I got um, just some veggie tots. These are for Ann because you guys, she is obsessed with these veggie tots. So for this one, I tried something a little bit different. This one is made with broccoli and cheese. And so this one actually doesn't contain any potato at all. It's just broccoli and cheese, but it's shaped to have the look and feel of a tater tot, which is great for Ann because she's all about the look and feel of the tater tot, you know, so this works great. And my goal around here these days is just to get her to eat. And I try to put as many healthy options on her plate as I can, but at the end of the day, she needs to enjoy it and she needs to eat it, you know? And I feel like as a mom to a toddler, like I'm sure you guys can relate if you have toddlers um, or have ever had a toddler, you know like the, how the struggle can be real with getting them to eat stuff. So I shop very carefully um, so that I can get things that I know she's going to enjoy and actually consume. So I think she'll like these. And then next in here, you guys, I got some um, berry strawberry frosted toaster pastries. So first of all, I went to the store hungry, okay? And when I was in the section where they have like some of the breakfast cereals and stuff like that, I was looking at the Pop-Tarts and I was so tempted to grab one because I used to love Pop-Tarts growing up. But I mean, you, you, you know, 
you live and you learn and you understand that that kind of stuff is not the best to be eating. And so I was sitting there just like really having like all this cognitive dissonance, like I really want to eat this. I don't really give a damn if it's not good for me. But I just happened to look over just a couple inches to the left and I saw that there was a healthier option. And so this is just the Nature's Path organic kind. And I was like, yep, yeah, I'll be getting it. And then the last stuff in this bag, I'll just snatch it out here. Um, I wanted to try this almond butter. It's a honey almond butter. I wanted to try this for Anne to maybe put it on her toast or her crackers because Anne hates like, I won't say she hates it, but she does, she won't eat like preserves or peanut butter or anything like if I put it on bread. So I'm thinking maybe she'll like the honey almond butter um, but let's just see. So I just got a small little pack just to see. And then I stopped by the beauty section because I was almost out of these items. This is just a dark brown um, eyebrow pencil that I also be using for my lip liner, but mostly for the brows. So this is just a dark brown one. And then I also was almost out of my Colossal Big Shot mascara from the Shayla collaboration. You guys, this is the only mascara that I'm gonna be buying until they stop making it. Like, I'm a huge fan of Shayla's work. I don't, if you guys don't know who um, Shayla is, definitely check her out on Instagram. But she did a collaboration with Maybelline, which I thought was just incredibly huge of a deal. And I've been buying these mascaras ever since, and they actually work great, like I love them. So I always get the Colossal one with Shayla on the pack. <laughs> All right, next is this bag, which is one of my favorite bags to bring with me to the grocery store, you guys. I've had this particular grocery bag uh, for probably like uh, maybe three or four years now. And as you can see, it is still in great shape. I love it because it's super durable and the sides are like reinforced with like some kind of cardboard. So it's like really sturdy. So nothing is gonna fall out. This thing is not gonna rip and explode on you and have your groceries flying everywhere. So I love this guy and it folds down really nicely to like the size of like a notebook and you, it's so easy to tote with you. Like why would you not bring this? But if I know I'm gonna be buying like glass items or like alcohol, wine bottles, beer bottles, stuff like that. I'll bring this because it's so much easier to tote. I mean, it's just so much more comfortable to carry something like this than a grocery bag. So anyway, in here, I picked up some Italian style beef and pork meatballs. These are for Anthony because I'm gonna make a pizza tonight. That's the thing for tonight. So you guys, I was inspired to make my own pizza after I went to Blaze Pizza for the first time the other day and I, it was so delicious, and I don't know, I was just inspired to DIY a pizza, so I went to the store today with that on my mind, so I picked up these meatballs for Anthony because I know he's not gonna want a meatless pizza. He's, I mean, he'll eat it, but um, he's gonna be looking around the kitchen for something else. He's gonna act like he's not full from that, so if I put meat on it, then he'll be like, oh, okay, I'm good, I'm full. So I went to get these big meatballs because I figured he would enjoy that on his pizza. I'm not gonna put them on the pizza whole. I think I'm just gonna, um, do half seas and spread it around but so that was that and then I just got um, a little bunch of bananas next I picked up this um, candle what made me want to get this candle is because um, it's the fragrance peony petals and the peony is like my favorite flower only because it was my maternal grandmother's favorite flower they grew in her yard so I grew up seeing them so I just have a connection with peonies so anyway, this is a fragranced soy candle, which are the only candles I buy these days. This smells amazing. I'm really turning into like that lady who like lights candles to set the mood for any and everything. Like even if we're sitting here having dinner, I'm lighting candles. Like I'm, I'm turning into that lady. So next I got another little jar of pesto. You guys, I, I go through pesto so quickly because um, I eat it on my pizza. Um, I eat it with pasta, I'll put it on bread. Like I love pesto. So this is probably the third one that I've bought in the last month. <laughs> I eat a lot of pesto. So this is just a Barilla one. And I'll probably have this on my pizza tonight for dinner. Next, I got a couple more of these wee yogurts, the French style yogurts. I got one in vanilla and then I got the one in strawberry. These are Ann's favorite yogurts. So next I got some pizza sauce. This is just a fire roasted pizza sauce by Classico. I got the fire roasted one because I'm seeking some additional flavors and I'm thinking maybe that'll give it to me. We'll see how it turns out. And then I got some more Kalamata olives. And then lastly for this bag, I got some beers. Now this is a new beer that I have not ever tried, but it is craft beer. And this is just the Elysian Space Dust IPA. I just love the craft beer labels. Like they're always so cute and illustrated. I just love them. And it's an 8.2 ABV on this one. So I'm gonna have this tonight with um, our pizza and I'll let you guys know what I think. All right, so we're almost done here. I just have a couple more bags. 
This was not bagged, I just carried this in my arm, but this is just a four pack of disinfectant wipes. This is the, I believe, yeah, this is the Up and Up Target brand. Um, and I just got, I get the four pack because it's most economical. We use these for Ann and, and strictly that's it. I don't use these for really much of anything else. So the way that I use these disinfectant wipes is on Ann's high chair. So I'll like, I'll clean her high chair first and then I'll go over it um, as the final wipe down with the disinfectant wipes because with her high chair tray, she sometimes will eat food right off of the tray. It'll, you know, she'll knock it off the plate and she'll eat it off the tray. So I feel like the tray should be as clean, if not cleaner, than her utensils and her plates. We just like to keep a disinfected environment for Anne, you know, just in case she comes in contact with anything, we wanna make sure that it's not like all germ infested. We do the best we can. Um, nobody's gonna be perfect with that, so. But anyway, so that's that. Got the fourth pack. I forgot how much this cost, but I think it was probably like $10 or something like that, which is actually a really good bargain. So in this bag, I just got a couple of plastic utensils, just the forks and the spoons. You probably, you're probably like, well, why do you have that? Lately, I've been helping Anthony with his meal prepping, and he's been working a lot longer shifts because he's working on some big cases these days. And so he's been, his shifts have been longer, and on top of that, we've been wanting to you know, incorporate, you know, a healthier lifestyle with his meals and things. So I've been helping him prepare meals to take to work, but because he's gonna be there for such a long period of time, sometimes we need to pack like two meals in one. So it's easier if I already have like a plastic fork and spoon to throw in there with his stuff. So when it's time for him to eat, he doesn't have to try and find a utensil. We just already have something in there. You can always use like metal silverware, but it's just one extra thing that he has to worry about keeping up with and then having to remember to wash it when he brings the stuff home. So I'm, I just try to make it easier on him. The other thing in here is just these Donut Shop K-Cups. These are just the medium roast coffee cups. They were buy two, get one free. So it was super awesome that I was able to get three for the price of two and they were already priced pretty cheaply. So, so that's really awesome because I was completely out of K-Cups and I usually don't let that happen. I'll usually have overlap with the K-Cups so that I never run out. But this particular time, I ran out completely just for one day, really like a half a day. So I had to make sure that I put these on my grocery list. So let me make some room here. All right, and this is my final bag. All right, this one is more food. I just got a bag of Cheeto Puffs white cheddar. I got these kind of for Ann, but mostly for just the house. And you can tell I was grocery shopping while hungry because I had to pick up um, a TV dinner because I'm like, when I get home, I gotta eat like something ASAP. You know, I don't wanna wait for the pizza or whatever. So I got this, but actually I ended up getting a Starbucks um, <clears throat> iced coffee while we were at Target. So my appetite is kind of wiped out a little bit. Um, but if I get hungry before we do the pizza, then I will eat this. And this is just a Amy's TV dinner. It's tamale verde with black bean and it's dairy free. So this is completely vegan, but it's just made with organic corn masa tomatillos and black beans. Next, I just got this wild Alaskan salmon filet. It comes with two, and it's got the seafood stuffing in there. And then I also got um, these natural chicken strips. Um, they're fully cooked, so really all you need to do is just throw them on your salad. If you want it to be warm, you can pop it in the microwave, but really it's for the purpose of like having it kind of cool to kind of go well with the salad. And for my pizza tonight, I just got some shredded mozzarella and provolone cheese. This is Anthony's favorite blend for cheese. And this is the pizza crust that I went with. It's just um, an original pizza crust from Market Pantry. I guess this is a Target brand. Never heard of it, not really sure. So you guys, that is it for my grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know what you think if you have any questions, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye. Yo, one glass of Patron to smash in its own And I dash right back to the pad where I zone Got a stash collection, double packs that I own